Hi, it's Gary Kay. We're here at ISC 2016, about three-fourths of the way through day one of the four-day ISC extravaganza, the biggest AV show on earth. And I'm joined by Richard with Richard Miller, who is the director of projectors in North America. And, Ri and I'm also joined by uh, Neil Cahoon, which is the director of projectors also, EMEA. So I've got the two the two um, gurus here, and I want to talk to both of you about uh, different things here. But I'm going to start with you, Richard. Uh, you you um, you must be excited because here you've got you've launched your brightest projector, and you've got your largest line of interactive products that you ever had. Uh, what are your thoughts about the first day of ISC 2016 so far? First day has been fantastic. The reaction to the new products has been really terrific. Um, the market is uh, been waiting for this product, and we're delivering on fantastic. And the reaction is just just tremendous. And, and you know the EMEA market better than all of us because this is what you've lived and breathed yep. your entire career. Yep. Um, what do you think? What's the reaction been? Because, uh, you know, Epson, of course, Epson leads in a lot of market categories, but you're entering a new market category, a product category that you've sort of been in, but now you're, you're stepping up the brightness level considerably. You're going to be competing with some, some big brands. Exactly as Richard said, the, the reaction's been fantastic. Um, hasn't been a great surprise to many because we, we in, particularly in EMEA, we have a big conversation with our customers all of the time. So we've had three or four years of research into these products. So a lot of them have said, you know, thank you for coming eventually because it has taken time, but our view's always been best to market, not first to market. So as, as Richard said, it's been fantastic reaction, particularly um, the compact design of the products, uh, the warranty um, and outline pricing as well has gone down very, very well. Well, it's interesting because if you look statistically and if you follow these stats, which of course we're interested in them, um, you look at every category that Epson's entered, they've become the market leader in a, in, in a fairly short period of time when you consider the length of the market. I'm sure that you, there must be some expectation there. Um, you've obviously des you've decided that laser um, is the way to go, but you're doing something a little different. You're using an inorganic uh, technology, which I assume, I, I don't know the technical aspects of it, but I, but I assume allows you to control the color because one of the things you're real big on is the, the colorimetry of the image. I assume that the reason why you use inorganic phosphor in your laser technology and inorganic wheel, um, that you're, you're trying to control the color better? Is that the idea? So the inorganic phosphor that we use on the phosphor wheel and then also inorganic panels um, are very good for long-term durability. Right, so that's how we get the 20,000 hours of life out of the optical okay. engine. Um, so it stands up to ultraviolet light very well um, and just gives you that very consistent, long-term, um, unprecedented image that you get from Epson. And, and do, do people, um, I, you know, I don't know, you know, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to say that I know the EMEA market as, as well as uh, I know the, the, the U.S. market, which I don't, you know, we're, 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 we, we've, I've, I've certainly been here a lot, but I wonder, do they understand the, the whole um, colorimetry aspect of things? Is it really caught on here? Do they really, do they get what your messaging is? I think it depends on the category. I think uh, you see, it's one of the reasons why we have that color light output area. I think that the, the higher the average selling price, the more involved the customer is with the product, so probably the more research and understanding he has. Some of the issues we have with color that I output are more of the low end, you know, the sort of $600 yeah. type products. Towards the high end, they get it. I think the issue's always been about durability, and it's exactly what Richard said. The main benefit of the inorganic panel is the, the long-term durability. There's never been a question about picture quality. The issue's all, always been about robustness and durability. We've answered that question, and that's why the, the reaction's been so good. Well, this is going to be interesting because you, there's obviously a lot of synergy here, and this is, I think, a little unusual, quite honestly, because historically, when I've dealt with other manufacturers in the industry, and I'm not talking about just projector manufacturers, but other manufacturers, there's been a delineation between, well, that's North America, and, and that this is Europe, or whatever. But here you guys are working together. Um, is this something you always do, or is this is this the first time you guys have collaborated this way, or, or what do you, what, you know, is this... What, what, is this different? Uh, this is probably the biggest collaboration we've done together. Um, in the past, we've launched um, separately in different markets um, at different timings. So one market might go first right. and the other. And this launch is important enough that we felt like a worldwide launch was uh, in order. Um, and so we came together and um, we're glad to be here uh, with our European partners. And this is a worldwide launch, really. I mean, this the the ISE show isn't, you know, no offense, but it isn't an EMEA show anymore. I, I no, know no, it's no, owned no, by EMEA, but it's, totally. it, we've seen the biggest increase 
place in other countries outside of the EMEA. In fact, even even North American yeah. attendees, uh, we've seen a huge increase in North American attendees um, and also exhibitors. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it, this is really a world. This is truly a worldwide. Launch. Yeah, I agree. There's there's great synergy with the United States. They're reciprocating by launching the L25 K at Infocom. So we're launching the the official launch is the products up to 12K. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean actually we work very closely with each other with these two two shows are nicely spaced out every six months from each other and I think that's that will continue you know upcoming where, where we'll be launching together and as I said I think both shows actually Infocom it, it dropped off and it's coming back again I think yeah. both shows are, are great worldwide showcases now they're not, they're not local shows at all yeah, and, and so the although you're showing the 25,000 lumen product, the official launch really is going to be at Infocom, and then you'll deliver early fall. Am I, I got that right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. And and, and what's the re reaction been so far? Because now you're entering a category where and and not to offend anybody, but you have a different level of critical awareness of everything, not just uh, color light output, but resolution, uh, lensing, right, um, um, durability. Uh, what's the reaction been so far on day one? The, the reaction's been very good, particularly when we tell them that our lenses are 4K compatible. So for the future products that are coming down, when you're ready to make that change to lenses, if you buy Epson today, you're ready for the future. Yeah, and 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 of course the brand Epson has got to help. I mean, uh, so and, and it's not like you're coming out of nowhere. You literally have you're the leading projector. Uh, you're the project leading projector company in the home market, leading small and medium sized business market. Um, so this is going to you know obviously I assume that you want to become the leading large venue product. Well, it would be a nice byproduct of a successful sales yeah. plan. Yes, that's true. I mean, our aim is to be successful uh, and to hit our targets. The by product of which might get us to number one which is great right. I think the, the, the key thing is, as Richard was mentioning about Epson it's not just because Epson's a big company that this is successful it, it's actually why these products are successful is because of our size the investment required to produce these inorganic panels is absolutely huge we don't talk numbers but I can say it's it's many many millions of dollars and it's because it's, it's a core business of Epson. It's what we do. We're a projector company and a print company. We're able to, to divest all this money into the R&D. And that's why we're here today, because Epson is successful in other areas, and we're investing in this clearly massively growth potential area. And, and you know, you brought up an interesting point that I hadn't pointed out before. You really you kind of own everything, right? I mean, in the sense that you're not having to rely on a third-party supplier to give you the technology to d deliver these projectors because you own all the raw components that are going into the projector. And that's a little unusual. There aren't a whole lot of projector companies that can say they can do that. Yeah, that's a core business philosophy of Epson, to own your core technology, control your destiny, control your cost, your delivery, your quality. Um, and we've, you know, the evidence of that in our projector business is the high share and the high growth that we've experienced. Um, and it should continue on into the future. Well, look, we shot videos on all the products you guys launched here. All you got to do is to go on this, uh, where you're watching this video right now, upper left-hand corner, just type in Epson. You can see all those videos. And, of course, you can go to the websites. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a chance to pitch your own websites. And I, off the top of my head, I don't know. I know that yours is Epson.com slash projectors. Did I get that right? Uh, you, you can do Epson.com slash projectors or Epson.com slash large venue. Large venue, right. And then yours is? Epson.eu. Epson.eu. And you also have an ISE microsite. And I'm trying to remember what it is off the top of my head. Yeah, but I can't remember so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link with the video because they That's actually a have a idea. microsite where all the products that they launched here are outlined in addition to the videos that we shot on each of the products so guys I appreciate you joining me today best of luck to you congratulations and I uh, keep watching we got a lot more to cover here at IC 2016